Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Kevin with SurvivalistSports.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Charade. And this is a long name, SCHF36. The Charade SHF, SCHF9. So I do not have to say all that every time. We're just going to refer to the 36 and the 9. Keep it simple. Okay, just going to keep it simple. Both of these are popular charade knives out on the internet. Amazon, they've got a lot of reviews on Amazon. I have both of them. Bought these with, one was a gift. Well, both of them were gifts, in fact, from family members. Neither one was supplied by a company. So, full disclosure there. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking each knife, 36 and the 9, and doing a side-by-side -side comparison of things that I like and things that I do not like about the knives. Starting with the 36, and also both the knives are, have a 1095 carbon steel blade, meaning it will rust, so I need to keep a little oil on it. This is the 9. Let's go over your basic stuff. comes with a sheath. I've got a few little spots of rust where I've used it and didn't clean it off real good, but nothing a nice little sharpening stone or something won't take care of. We've got, instead of going off the website and just saying what it's got, like the blade overall into stuff, let's just go ahead and measure it and show it. Four and a quarter inch blade. About ten and an eighth inches overall length. What would y'all do? Would y'all call that a five inch handle? It's got a full tang handle. Spot for a lanyard loop. Drop point. Let's get our scales out. Thirteen point three ounces just for the knife and now let's go for knife and sheath one pound 0.5 ounces let's go ahead and measure that I forgot to measure the thickness of the blade we're one quarter inch I like that the knife came with a fire starter just your basic fire starter. And to complement that, I went down to the big box mart and went to the hobby section. You can find these in the hot little these little bat baggies in the hobby section. It's like for putting beads and stuff in. Find them at Hobby Lobby or, or any place. You should be able to find them at Hobby Lobby or any place that sells hobby supplies. Taking them put for beads and stuff like that in. I put dryer linen in there. I put dryer linen in there just to help get that fire going, give it that little bit of extra oomph. And I was able, I took and put them down inside of there. And then the fire starter fit inside the pouch. And the sheath, is, I have here a snap-on multi-tool. And it will fit inside the pouch, it is tight. Be nice if this pouch was just a little bit bigger. Let's zoom out of that. Sorry about that. So let's. Uh, it'd be nice if this pouch was just a little bit bigger. I know it's designed for a fire starter and included a fire starter, but would it have hurt them to make that pouch just a little bit bigger so that we could have included, say, anything that we want? in there instead of just a fire starter the leg tie downs are just i don't know i mean it's just a shoestring that's all it is just some shoestring the ends are burnt or 550 doesn't look like 550 cord just some shoestrings with the ends are burnt i would have much rather seen molly straps on this and that does not fit a standard molly webbing let me go get a pack and we'll show you here we have a maxpedition vulture 2 the sheath does not fit standard size webbing. I mean, so what are we supposed to do with that? It's, you know, it'd been nice if somehow that we could, I mean, even that 
I mean, what's the Velcro for? It, uh, well, I want it fit to molly webbing, guys. I mean, it's like Charade really needs to address what they're thinking about when they design these these sheets. I mean, it's like, and then tie it down down here. Whenever you could put a molly webbing right here and just snap it on there, or some type of molly webbing here and just snap, snap. And be done with it. But instead, it won't fit. The Charade 9. Let's take a look at that. It's got some oil on it. So you'll see some. That is oil. Got a blade length of about 5 and 3 quarter inches. Handle length of about 5 and 3 quarter. Overall length of about 12 and... 3 16 inches. The blade thickness is one quarter inch. Wait! Fifteen point seven five ounces. Thirteen point three. 6.4. It's a very heavy knife. And if you're going to use that for backpacking and ded dedicating almost a pound to a knife. Alright, and then, I mean, that's a lot of weight. Let's put that on there. One pound, five, oh, one pound, six ounces. Let's just go ahead and round that up. One pound, 5.9 ounces. It's a lot of weight to, to dedicate just to a knife your scabbard sheath whatever you want to call it i took the leg tie downs off and i like how that is that allows the pouch this pouch here to come off which i like i like on the nine i mean on the 36 the pouch is fixed this one has got the buckle this one here's just got a Velcro. This one here's got Velcro and buckle. Just Velcro. Permanently fit, fit, fixed. Permanently attached. Detachable. So I like that. Oh, my pack fell off the table. Anyway, that I can take that off and attach it to something else. I like that a lot. The 9 came with a sharpening stone. I felt that it was rather cheap. A cheap sharpening stone. So I placed it with one of these Smith's sharpeners. Fits in there just right. Or take, put the multi-tool in there, and it fits just right. So I like the pouch on the 9 a lot more than on the 36. A lot more. It looks like Charade had an idea. I mean, it's... That will not fit the standard standard molly webbing or moly, however you care to pronounce it. But down here it does. I mean, so just run that through there like that, run it up through a couple of them, and bam, I mean that attaches. That's nice. I like that. I like that a lot. So if they would have just put something, just put something right here, I mean just just something where that would fit on the outside of a pack. I mean, that'd been great. That would have been wonderful, wonderful. Really wish Charade would take the time to think about these sheaths and what they're intending them for. To put things in perspective for the weight. Rounded, a couple of, rounded up a couple of more of my knives. Let's do a comparison. Now, we're just talking about weight here. Because if you're out hiking, backpacking, I mean, weight equal, uh, ounces equal pounds, pounds equals pain. One pound, five ounces for the nine. Cold Steel Recon Scout. This is about 21 years old or so. One pound, two ounces. Let's say two and a half, so. One pound. Cold Steel Tanto. 
13 ounces. Gerber Big Rock, 7 ounces. A lot, a lot of difference, guys. And it's what, what are you using the knife for? What are you using the knife for? In the summer of 2016, I took the 36 on a backpacking trip. Just thought, of, hey, I throw it on the side of the pack, go out on a hiking trip, day hike, and see how things went, see how it carried, if I needed to use it or anything. It's where I was just barely fit into the molly webbing. I had to fold it up and put it in there. After about six or seven miles, I was like, why did I bring such a heavy knife? I mean, why exactly did I bring this whenever I could have halved my weight and went with something else? I know this doesn't have the molly attachment. It's just for a belt loop. It's just a camp knife, guys. But it's, it's I mean, what are you planning on doing with the knife? Are you going having it on your bug out bag? I mean, that's a lot of weight to dedicate just to a knife. You have it on a day pack. A, are you going out river camping? Are you going out? I mean, what exactly are you doing whenever it comes to skinning an animal? The shorter the blade, the better, so that you can get in there between the the meat, the hide, and the meat, and make those little fine cuts. And the shorter the blade, the better it is for skinning game. You get this longer blade out there like that, and it makes it more difficult to skin a deer. And yes, I've skinned a lot of deer. I've skinned a lot of deer. YouTube does not like hunting videos or videos where you're skinning a game, so I will not do a demonstration of skinning an animal or anything with these knives, nor will I ever. So I'm just doing a description on how things work. Take a smaller camp knife, smaller blade, shorter blade, you're able to get in there and slice between the hide and the meat a lot easier. So if you're thinking you're going to be out hunting with these knives and use them for skinning, there's better options. There are better options out there. It boils down to, or I feel it boils down to, what you're doing with the knife. There may be better options on the market, but for the price point, it's these knives are a little hard to beat. The 36, I just looked at Amazon earlier today, $25.86, $25.86. The 9, Shrade 9, $37.85. With that price, it is hard to beat. Hard to beat these knives. With a good 1095 carbon steel blade. Full leaf tang, lanyard spot, pouch, scabbard, or sheath is whatever you just want to call it. The, it would have been nice if they would have made this word to attach to molly. Full leaf tang, lanyard attachment, pouch not, atta not detachable. But then again, I mean, it's not a big deal. I mean, these little flaws with the pouch, with the, with the molly attachment, it is not a big deal. Get yourself another scabbard or another sheath and replace the factory one so i don't think the knife i don't think either knife is a winner or loser i think they're both quality products you're getting what you pay for you buy 25 25 or 35 dollar knife you're getting a 37 dollar knife and a 25 dollar knife if something happens to it you really don't have any room to complain you're getting what you pay for all right guys and gals I think that's it, and I will talk to y'all later.